So we are out today in the beautiful Shropshire countryside and we are headed from Wellington in Telford to Shrewsbury. It's a beautiful sunny day on these beautiful very quiet country lanes. The reeking is just over there. You can just see over that hedge. You okay Zoe? Yeah I'm good. But yeah we've, yeah, we left Wellington about five minutes ago and already we're on these nice, narrow, beautifully smelling Amazing. country lanes. So if you fancy just joining us, a nice pace to Shrewsbury, uh, then sit back, relax, enjoy it. We'll do all the work for you. All the different cyclists are out today. We got a couple up there and a tandem. Oh yeah, everyone just enjoying the sunshine. We're in a beautiful little village called Upton Magma. Just going to stop at the church. So it's Saint, is that how would you say that Zoe? Lu Lucia. Saint Lucia's Church at Upton Magma. Welcome to our church, which has been a place of worship for over 1,000 years. One of only two English churches named after Saint Lucia. Little church. But we're not quite, we're not too far from Shrewsbury now. Five miles. Oh, five miles from Shrewsbury. So yeah, we're flying. So just this section here, we've got to turn left onto this little path and it meets up with like the old Shrewsbury Canal. If you enjoy a mainly traffic free route, then we'd highly recommend this route. Quite busy today with other cyclists. A lot of cyclists. Yeah. But traffic free. Lovely smells and views and fresh air. This is the old canal just down there. It's kind of like a really long um, pond there, instead of a canal. You can see the water there. And if you can see it, but we've made it to the beautiful River Severn, just down there which we will be getting on in the kayak very soon. Yeah. If you haven't seen any of our kayak videos, check them out.
it would be really nice to go for a little dip, wouldn't it, Zoe? I bet it's not that warm, though. It's not as warm as we are. How's it feeling? It's not freezing. Yeah, I could get in that. Thank you. So cycle route 81 goes that way, but we're going to head into town and grab some lunch. But this is a really steep route up into town. I've challenged Zoe to get up it, so let's see how long it takes us. Yes, Zoe. As hard that is, isn't it? Really hard. That first bit. I couldn't get a grip. Did you? Not fall. Getting through there. Oh, the little turnstile bit. Oh. Okay, so we're at the top now. Let's go and get some lunch in beautiful Shrewsbury. The sky just looks turquoise. Just looks amazing. Oh. Let's get a nice cold drink and some lunch. Yeah, we'll see you at lunch. Wherever you want to go, Zoe, I'll follow you. Is this Quarry Park, Zoe? Yes. So we stopped for lunch. We've both got prep baguettes. Cheddar Crips, Coke Zero. What crisps you got? So many. Nice. So we have finished our lunch, and we are going to head back along the uh, River Seven route, and then meet back up the route that we took, where we turn right up into the town. We're going to head straight back the way we came. Shrewsbury is just full of beautiful bridges. Thank you. My bum's hurting, Zoe. Yeah, my bum's hurting too. Never I never remember my like my butt shorts. Yeah. I know they're not called butt shorts. But, uh, Cushion shorts, padded shorts. I never remember them. Next time I'm gonna remember. It's only about just over a 30 mile cycle there and back, but I'm feeling it already. So what's going to make this journey a little bit harder on the way back is we're now headed straight into a headwind which isn't that strong but obviously it's nicer to have a tailwind but still loving it but yeah this is our last view of the river seven now so we thought we'd just come into the woodland a sec just to enjoy some shade nice cool woodland have a little sit down soothe our butts we're acting like we've done hundreds of miles aren't we but yeah my saddle's really hard
absolutely love it when we get a bit of downhill. Gotta try and catch Zoe up though, she's flying. It's all part of the adventure. Yeah, we, I know we definitely need to be going that way. So yeah, we have made a wrong turn. Um, I say we. Zoe said, "Oh, isn't it this way to Wellington?" But not, not the route we wanted to go. So we're currently just on the outskirts of a village called Admaston. Is that right? Um, oh, muddy, muddy, muddy. And we just retracing our steps a little bit to get back on the right road path but we thought we could cut through here so yeah we're definitely not on cycle route 81 anymore but we are still heading the right direction we hope so we have found the path we are on the silken way now which should take us straight back to wellington or straight back to cycle route 81 but that was an interesting little detour. Found a new route. Yeah, the Silking Way, you've probably seen us do this all the way to Ironbridge before. It's a really nice route. But yeah, 30 miles done so far. And we're feeling it, aren't we, Zoe? Yeah. It's been a while since we've done over 20 miles. 20 miles. Yeah. And we have made it back to National Cycle Route 81. Um, and not much far now to go until we're back no. so thank you very much for watching this video it'd be really awesome if you subscribed and we'll see you on the next one hope you've really enjoyed the cycle yeah, yeah so see you soon adios